3.2, trends in electron affinity. Affinity means a desire for something. So the first electron affinity is the energy change when adding an electron to a gaseous atom. So why do all these definitions mention the gaseous state? Well, if it was in another state, then all the energy levels would be different and no one could agree what the energy change would be. OK, you can see the first electron affinities, they're all negative. They're all exothermic, energy's released. So I can't really see what's going on on that periodic table. So let's flip it over. Oh, I can see the patterns better now, but the periodic table's backwards. So let's flip it over again. I'm going to raise those bars so I can see what's going on. OK, so there's a very, very general trend here from the left to the right. On the left hand side, they don't like electrons. That means not a lot of energy is released when you add an electron. And on the right hand side, they like electrons. That means a lot of energy is released when you add an electron. So let's go back to the original IB periodic table, copyright IB. And let's look at the halogens. Let me erase the uh, first ionization energy so we're not going to get confused leaving the first electron affinity as the only number. So there is a pattern as you go up the group until you get to fluorine. Now fluorine seems to break the pattern. We'll look at that a little bit later. But let's account for the general pattern first of all. So an electron going to astatine will release the least amount of energy compared to the rest of them because the electron isn't as happy as it's going to be if it goes to iodine because an iodine is going to be closer to the pull of the nucleus and there's less shielding. More energy is released when the electron goes to bromine, and the maximum is when it gets to chlorine, because that's as close as it can get to the pull of the nucleus with the least shielding so far. So what explains the fact that the electron going to fluorine doesn't release as much energy as expected? After all, it's closer than any of the others to the pull of the nucleus, and there's the least amount of shielding. Well, that comes down to electronic repulsion. The electron, when it goes into fluorine, there's such a high density of electrons that it isn't as stable as you'd expect it to be because the electron's being pulled close to the other nine electrons. Let's zoom in and look at oxygen. Now, there seems to be two numbers there. First is exothermic, and the second is endothermic. That corresponds to the first and then the second electron affinity. So drawing it out in the regular Bohr model way, 2,6, you can see the first electron, yep, that's going to be exothermic, just like for everything else. But now you've made the atom negative. It's a negative ion. So the next electron, when it comes along, there's going to be repulsion between that electron and the negative ion. And you're going to need to put energy in in order to do the second electron affinity. And we're done.